from absolutely game breaking economy glitches to planting the spike anywhere on the map here are 16 things that are now impossible in Valorant that once were very much possible by simply phoenix ulting and then running onto site and beginning to plant right as the alt is about to run out it would then carry forth the plant and therefore the spike back to your original position and well as you can see it would cause some insane plant locations Pair this with a sage and things only stacked. Things got crazier and crazier. I mean, look at this, planting it midair thanks to a sage wall. You can see the spikes, not so much on the ground. You can see a little montage of the creator showing all these insane spots and they were wild to play again. Now, while Riot did patch this, it took them a while to patch the second glitch to do with Yoru, where Yoru could actually plant the spike while being in his ultimate. Now, I'll admit, <laughs> I, I mean, I tried this bug. It was freaking hilarious and of course, very, very much game breaking and Riot didn't take long to patch it, thankfully, but that's the thing. Yoru historically is just littered with bugs as we carry forward if planting the spike while being invincible wasn't enough he could also shoot while being in his ultimate with an animation cancel and this one went on for a while every time riot patched it someone would break it patched again break again and killing players with the yoru ult was hilarious actually the gameplay you're seeing is my own gameplay but the thing is, killing players in unfair ways is just part of the Valorant spirit. I mean, all the way back, even in the original beta, did you know? I, I think most of you know this one, but man, is it nostalgic. Cypher Cam could pick up guns, but not only that, he could then shoot the gun. So basically, it was coded in the way that the Cypher Cam was just a player model and an entity. So if you threw the gun at the camera, it would yoink it and then shoot it. You could shoot and kill people from anywhere on the map. I don't really need to say more, do I? But that's the thing, isn't it? Not everything that is game breaking was broken. A lot of things were just simply overpowered, overtuned, or left in sleeper mode for quite some time. And Jet's right click is very much one of it. Most of you should remember this, but in case you're a new player, basically if you right click with a Jet ultimate, it would refresh, leading to some of the craziest moments in the game, like this one. And don't get it twisted, these clips were not uncommon. It was powerful, it was broken, and man was it rage inducing. Not to mention Jet's dash used to be instant, but that's for another video. But the problem is, what's not for another video is more Jet. Jet used to be broken, and we're going to be looking towards bugs again. By using a combination of your dash as well as a rope hook, you're able to super dash, or better yet, just straight up speed hack as Jet. Popularized by How To Noodle, you can see by the Reina's message, are you speed hacking? This is insane. Some of these clips are wild. Now, all the sources are down below. In case you haven't seen this yet, I would watch the montage. It's just awe after awe after all. Next, we actually got my own footage here. This is something that I found out in replication right before it got popular. Basically, by placing down anyone's util, you're able to then pick it back up and sell it in the shop, allowing you to get some insane economy boosts in round one. In this case, in replication, everyone's on pistols, but I have a light shield and stinger thanks to the fact that I threw down my killjoy mollies, picked them up, sold them, and then, well, had a huge economic advantage. Now, the weird thing about this bug is that it was possible for quite some time. The game mode was already out for a while, and this bug was simply just a sleeper bug. People just didn't think about it. It's just not something that would happen naturally, since you usually just start with your abilities. But sure enough, it worked, and it worked actually for quite some time afterwards, but eventually Riot did knock it down. Next is a hybrid between game mechanics and something that was just kind of left untested. There was a impossible plant spot for Sage in which you couldn't defuse the spike until the wall got broken. There's actually two of them and they used to exist on Icebox. As you can see, this is old Icebox. And as you can see in the first one, you can't pass through without having to break the wall. And even if you were up there, you can't actually press four until breaking it. And the second one is actually way crazier. Now the interaction has since been patched as the spike will just break the wall when it did work. Look at this. Your team would have to run around looking for the spike, and then if they finally found it, they couldn't actually get on to defuse it. They then have to get off the rope, drop back to the bottom, break the wall, and then, bro, that's just way too much coordination for irons. Speaking of irons, one of their favorite weapons is the Bucky, or mainly shotguns in general. And the Bucky, once upon a time, used to be a sniper. Uh, not, not in the literal sense, but in the fact that the Bucky used to do insane amount of damage from long range. Now, this one is no doubt popularized by Shotgun Sage or Quirky on YouTube, and man, oh man, some of the original 
original clips. Now, this brings me back nostalgia. This is an insane amount of nostalgia, and people cannot sleep on this. Some people did. Some people thought that Bucky wasn't a big deal while he continued to show off and eventually climb to Immortal using the Bucky only. Furthermore, it got so popularized that we saw it in pro play. Professional teams literally abused the shotgun. I mean, just watch Prod in his ranked game here. But I'm feeling like a boomer, so let's modernize the video a bit. Right there, what you just saw, this Yoru, yeah, that is called the gritty swing by the one and only zip tie. And it's not something I thought we would now say is impossible, but it surely is. Riot updated it so that you can't gritty swing anymore. You don't get that weird animation. The gritty swing is no more as you walk normally and no longer seem like you're floating in the air, making it way easier to track you. Probably one of the most heartbreaking things, but I suppose it kind of makes sense. How to noodle back at it again. In this one, he figures out how to jump off the fracture rope as jet and then just sort of float down out of the map and do some insane parkour. This dude goes around the entire map and it kind of just keeps getting crazier and crazier. I'm going to cut a little bit here to show you where he ends up. If you want to see the entire thing, link down below. But I mean, how do you even react if you get killed from here? How do you even process it? <laughs> I mean, what the hell? All right, all right, back on track. This next one, courtesy to Valorant Bugs and Glitches, Killjoy's Molly used to be able to just go straight through these double boxes on the bind. No idea why, but obviously leads to one of the most broken post-plant locations. And here's the thing with Killjoy's Mollies. There was quite a few spots, including this spot on Split, in which you... <laughs> Dude, how does... The way this guy finds bugs is quite unimaginable. I'm going to show you one more. He used to be able to walk through this glass like it was absolutely nothing. There's three bugs for you that used to be possible that are now impossible in one single shot. Or the fact you used to be able to ride Sova arrows. Now, when people think of this, they believe that I mean other people riding arrows. No, I mean Sova himself could ride his own arrows if done correctly. Let's just... Just watch that back one more time. Yeah, so we're riding his own arrows. Now, people who are paying attention will probably already notice there's over 16 featured impossible things, but we're grouping some together like this Killjoy alarm bot that could go through the wall. But not everything impossible has to be something that was patched out. Some can just simply be something that was completely removed or reworked from the game. Old Yoru, specifically his footsteps that are no longer in the game. Now you have a whole clone that you throw out that when shot blinds the enemies, but previously you had to be more creative. You have to use Yoru's footsteps. Here are two great instances of Red outplaying the enemy using footsteps, which were only audio cues. There was nothing else. If the minute they were seen, it was obvious that it was a fake. They're way harder to use, and you had to bet on audio cues, including this guy who tried to shoot the footsteps based off of instinct and allowed him to secure the kill. Now it's your turn to secure the subscribe button.